Barry Cunliffe first studied Danbury over 40 years ago. These are iron spearheads. Now look at that one. That's a mean thing. A long shank. Uh huh. Very sharp point. Gosh, that's. And I mean, that's been done uh, by you know with the intention to kill. I mean, everything about it is is violent. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it absolutely redolent of violence. And this is all coming from in here. Everything here is from within Danbury. Yes. Okay. And we've also got evidence from the human bones themselves. This, this is the, the real hard evidence. Here we are, we've got oh. the skull. Uh, you can see the eye sockets mm -hmm. there. And you see that hole there? And that's got the same section. It's exactly the same section as that spear. Uh, he would have copped a spear uh, directly through the top of his head there. But, but the, the fascinating thing about this guy is he also had a pretty hefty bash on the head, which has caved a bit of the skull in. And that's not been enough to kill? No, no, because if you turn inside, you see the damage that it's done inside, oh. but it's all healed over. So he must have had a headache uh, and a oh, so graphic brain damage, but was still fit enough, presumably, to go into battle um, some months, perhaps some years later, uh, to um, end up with that spear in his head. So he went into battle already knowing what it was like to, he, to face he, these weapons. He probably had been into battle many times, this guy, as, as indeed had many of them. See, we've got many more skulls here. Goodness. There's no end of it up no, here. No, no, no. We, we were, again, just close to where we're standing was a very large pit into which they'd thrown body parts, cleaning up after a battle, presumably. Large number of body parts, and some of these skulls came from there. So people and are dying in significant numbers that they're not even being accorded burial. They're just no. being cleared away. Cleared away. You can see here a whole series of slivers taken off his skull there with glancing blows. Someone coming in. Yeah. yeah. He wouldn't have needed a haircut after that. Uh, but but the, um, the coup de grace was, was that. The great sword slash. Goodness sake, and that has not been, that's, nope, that's, that's not healed over. He, uh, that was the end of him. Oh. And altogether, this shows what an incredibly violent life people lived. What a world they inhabited with the threat of this hanging over them. Yes, and I think they would have been aware of it the whole time. You can imagine here in Danbury, these young, young guys coming back from battle with all their scars and, and living in the community with noses cut off, ears cut off, uh, horrendous injuries. They must, have been, uh, they must have been aware every moment of their day of just how violent life was.